I'm over at the boatyard today and they hauled out a houseboat that needs some cleaning of the bottom and it's mostly made up of sponges. It's like, it looks like a salad. You'll be able to see that not too many barnacles, which is interesting, but they need to scrape it first and then they're going to pressure wash it to get it cleaned up and prepped so that the owner can start sanding to be able to apply a new bottom. I would definitely say that this is some extreme bottom cleaning for sure. Extreme blasting afterwards to make it look all nice and ready. So yesterday I was down on a boat that we put a Sani haul on, which is the uh, ultrasonic vibration and we put it on in June. It has not had its bottom cleaned and it's now mid-February and the bottom is in beautiful condition. The owner had the, the bottom cleaners go down and take a look and they were amazed. I'm starting to really consider the Sani Hall something to uh, look into. Ultrasonic, hall cleaning, whatever you want to call it. So definitely look like it's working out pretty good. People are so amazing sometimes with their creativity and ideas. I guess this boat's motor doesn't work, so therefore they're having to use other means of moving it around. Whoa, look at the sea life on the bottom of this one. So I was over here at the boat yard today and they hauled out a boat that has some seed life growing on the bottoms. Not so much barnacles though, as you can see, but they have to scrape it first and then they have to pressure wash it. They're doing all this just to get it cleaned up so that the guy can put a fresh bottom on this houseboat. Look at the salad on the back of this motor. Oh my goodness. All kinds of good stuff growing on here. I've seen them worse, but this one's pretty good. So this boat just got hauled out by somebody that's here at the yard. They're going to be doing it themselves. And um, they uh, decided that they're going to put a new bottom on here. Yeah, we saw a starfish on one the other day. Yeah, there's a little cool stuff. We tried to throw it back in the water. A little crab here. Treat it, Antonio. Uh, I'm just going to run this course. Oh, okay. And it's usually about three or four days. Oh, well, yikes. Okay. Yeah. This is what we call extreme bottom cleaning. All kinds of sea life here. Oh, look at the chickens. I guess they've made their way over to the boatyard. Oh, there's some big red ones there at the entrance. Look at those beauties. You guys are big chickens. Well, I just heard that it's been four years since the last time that this boat was out. So that would explain all the growth on the bottom. Okay, so he'll continue blasting here. It's going to take a long time to get this boat completely clean. But you can see what a world of difference it makes just putting some good extreme pressure with water on the bottom to get it clean. If there were barnacles on there, then it might be a little more difficult. But this is just kind of soft growth. So that makes it really super easy to, to get it cleaned up. Look at this fancy boat yard sink. Yeah, right out the bottom. <laughs> but it works. It works. 
So I was over at the boat yard today and I was looking for our ladders. And um, when I went to the back of the property, I saw the boat that had the extreme blasting of getting that sea life and all those growth and all that stuff off of the boat. And come to find out actually they had my ladder. So I had to um, end up approaching them, but I wanted to show you what the bottom ended up turning out to look like after they had it blasted and after they scraped everything off and then they had already repainted it by the time I went to go take a look. I didn't want to get too close because they were working hard on the top that they had actually cut off of the boat. I am. I have a surprise. Oh, let's go see. We are right now. Okay. Shh. Can't be quiet, okay? Look at these sleeping beauties. So that's three manatees and they're just snoozing right here, sleeping. So I saw him when I was over on the other side and I thought I'd grab you guys and show you. Oh, look at the one on the left there is farting right now. See all the bubbles coming out? <laughs> they fart a lot. Oh, the stink. Oh God. Oh, they stink. Oh, you nasty. <laughs> There's one breathing. If you watch close, their nostrils open and close. Kind of like the blowhole on a whale or a porpoise. But you can see the one with the scar on it that probably got hit by a boat. That's what happens to a lot of them. They get hit by boats when they're in shallow water, like the back, the flats boats and stuff. It's unfortunate. We don't see these every day. No, but quite often. I know. I know Carrie Ann doesn't see them because she's not on the docks nearly as much as I am. I see them quite often. They're just snoozing there. They're like, leave us alone. We want to sleep. It's amazing how long they can hold their breath for. All right, I guess we better get back to work. Yeah, back to work. So I'm going into the yacht club. You're supposed to dress up a little bit. So I took off my dirty work shirt and I put on one of our new merch shirts that I'm testing out. It's a quick dry UV 80 per, uh, sunblock 80 SPF, I guess. And um, it's pretty comfy. It's got we fix boats on the front and we'll fix it on the back. You can get this on our YouTube channel, by the way going to get an iced tea since I'm here. I figure why not? 